Hi, I'm Cass. I'm from the Paris Library, and today we'll be doing a pumpkin carving. We are going to start off with our pumpkin, and then our carving kit. It could be big or small. Our marker, any color will do. And here are the materials. I did add two bowls because I realized I needed it later. Alright, so now we're going to decide whether we're going to cut from the top or we're going to flip it over and cut from the bottom. Ignore the drawing. Um, I accidentally went ahead with one step, but don't worry. You don't want to mess up your pumpkin, so do it when I tell you to. Alright, so take out your bowls and then take out your knife and we're just going to cut a circle around the area that you decided to cut. I decided to cut from the bottom because I really like the stem. Um, I don't like seeing the line from where you cut it, so I, that's why I chose the bottom personally. But you do whatever you need to do. Alright, so now that we have it all cut up, you want to separate your seeds onto a bowl and then you're going to grab your other bowl and you're going to put the guts in there so everything that's not seeds and you're going to grab your big spoon and you're going to scrape everything from inside as much as you can and take out all the seeds and separate them all right so now we got it all cleaned out and please save your seeds as you will need them for your our next video coming up this month all right, now this is where I decided to um, make my drawing. And it could be a simple drawing. You can do whatever you like. I just chose a simple jack-o'-lantern because I really love jack-o'-lanterns. I just think they're so cute. we have our jack and ladder all finished up we can start cutting the eyes and you want to be really careful you don't want to cut any of your fingers off or anything like that so please be careful when you're cutting I'm just gonna show you real quick that it's having to take it in and take it out a lot to get the perfect picture that you did and it does take a little bit to try and pop off the eye or any of the parts but you, you'll have fun with it and you'll start to learn a lot about it as you keep going through and finishing up your pumpkin. So I'm all done and I did accidentally break a tooth, but that's fine. I kind of think it looks silly with one tooth and I, I think it looks cute. And now we're all done with our pumpkin. Alright, so if you don't really want to cut anything and you just want a cute pumpkin, I suggest you probably paint a pumpkin. It's a lot easier, it's really fun, um, your pumpkin will last a lot longer, and it's, it's just fun to do little silly faces on it and be as creative as you can with paint. And just have some brushes, some paint, and you could either paint your whole pumpkin or you can just grab some little um, paint brushes and do little details on it. And I decided to do little details just because I like to customize uh, my pumpkins in a very fun way. Alright, I'm glad you guys had fun with our activity this week. So now let's move on with our book recommendation for this video. So I chose Step by Step Crafts for Fall. 
by Kathy Ross and it has so many crafts that you could use that are super creative and all the step by steps are so informative. It's definitely a book I could recommend if you're into crafting. For more information on these books or books like this, please visit our website. There you will find all types of resources we offer in all our Riverside County branches near you. Thank you for watching!